What's up guys, welcome to the door number 16 of the finance calendar where we dive into 24 financial ratios in 24 days. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the ratios and let's go. Today we are going to talk about the inventory turnover ratio, also known as the stock turnover ratio. It tells us how many times the company is able to sell and replace its inventory during a specific period. It is calculated by dividing the cost of goods sold by the average inventory. The costs of goods sold are sometimes also referred to as the cost of sales. Let's calculate Intel's 2020 inventory turnover ratio as an example. You can find the cost of goods sold from the company's income statement. For Intel, the cost of sales for 2020 was $34.255 billion. The inventory can be found on the balance sheet. Because we are calculating the 2020 turnover ratio, we want to use the average inventory of the year 2020. Intel's 2020 beginning inventory was $8.74 billion and the ending was $8.43 billion. This means that the average inventory was $8.58 billion. The inventory turnover ratio for 2020 was 3.99. You can also calculate other periods, for example trailing 12 months or 5 years average and so on. You can also use the inventory turnover ratio to know how many days it will take for the company to sell the current inventory. For this, you will need to divide the average inventory by the cost of goods sold and multiply the result by 365, or by simply dividing 365 with the inventory turnover ratio. It would have taken Intel 91.4 days to sell the 2020 inventory. So what does the inventory turnover ratio of 3.99 tell us? A high ratio means strong sales and a low ratio means weaker sales. A very high ratio could mean that the inventory might be insufficient in certain situations. However, usually the higher the ratio is, the better, since it means that the company is managing its inventory more efficiently, which means lower storage and holding costs. You can again compare two different companies that operate in a similar industry. Since company A has a higher turnover ratio, it means that it is selling its inventory more efficiently than company B. As always, remember to use all the available information and ratios when making investment decisions. That's it for today's financial ratio. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe so you don't miss the future ratios. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!